Well, whether Nintendo wanted it to happen or not, the cat is out of the bag. Nintendo Switch was never supposed to be a, well, home console. Nintendo's been telling us for almost four years now that Nintendo Switch is a portable home console. And obviously we've known the entire time it's using mobile technology. If you're using mobile technology, that would suggest that you're a mobile first platform, not a home console that you happen to be able to take with you. But Nintendo has been using that marketing spin since before the Nintendo Switch came out. In fact, it seems to be the key marketing factor behind the Switch name. Or that's at least what we thought. That's what Nintendo has told us. That's what the Switch factually is, right? It's a portable home console. The ability to take AAA games with you anywhere, whether you're on the crapper, the airplane, uh, your bedroom, the big screen TV, wherever you want to play, play AAA games. Woo! It's a big selling factor of the Switch, to be completely honest. And it's why even with the Switch Lite out, the OG Switch model and the V2, the dockable Switch is still the best selling model because people want that TV functionality. Well, here's the thing. That apparently is not what the Switch was originally intended to be. We have had leaks happening all throughout 2020 from a major hacking of Nintendo's uh, platforms, uh, their servers and all that. And while the people that are responsible for those hacks have been put in jail and had all this stuff done, the leaks are out there and more data has come out. And this time it's about the Nintendo Switch dating back to 2014. In fact, back then Nintendo wasn't even using NVIDIA's technology. Let's get into it. So you guys remember this image? This old image, this was uh, something we've seen leak from Nintendo before in their patents. So we know Nintendo was considering this design with the, the two sticks, uh, you know, in with, with a screen that, that takes up most of the space. It's more like a, it looks like a more of a PS Vita kind of rounded design. Uh, so we, we've seen this concept before. This part's not necessarily new, although this is just a, a newer look at it. However, we have learned a whole bunch of tidbits about what the Switch was planned to be back in 2014. So the Switch name was actually decided back in 2014. Interestingly enough, it actually wasn't intended to be docked with your TV, but you could use it with your TV. We'll get to that in a moment. Nintendo's original Switch concept used an SOC at Ericsson, which they don't make super powerful chips, so it was not going to be that powerful of a system, I can tell you that. The console was going to support 3D video. Now, that was supposed to be a touted feature, 3D video, and backwards compatibility with the 3DS. So some people actually wish, wish today's Switch did that, but that was actually part of the original plans back in 2014. Street Pass, Spot Pass, and the pedometer features were planned for it, just like on the 3DS. It was not decided, but the final device would support one or two screens. It was actually looking like it was going to support one. There was a couple of ideas kicked around for two, but it was likely going to be one. The screen would actually cap out at 480p versus what the Switch ended up at 720p, likely due to the limitations of the technology they were using. So it was going to use Miracast to broadcast video. This means that it would be a portable console that doesn't dock into your TV. I mentioned that before, but it would actually display TV wirelessly using that Miracast app. Uh, so you will still have the unit usable. It was basically going to be like the Wii U gamepad, sort of. <laughs> it's just not. It wouldn't even be as powerful as the Wii U. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, the Switch was powered by AT would support video capture. So it would have a video capture ability, which, by the way, is technically supported by the Tegra chip that it currently uses. Nintendo just doesn't use that functionality uh, for what they're using it for here uh, because you could add video and audio commentary, what was the concept at the time. Uh, you could then upload it to Nintendo World, which is obviously their concept for a video upload service. Data sheet outlines functionality for video and voice conferencing while playing a game. So they were going to support local, like not just local uh, chat, but local video chat. I find this to be interesting since that is not a feature currently of Switch. We do have chat through an app on our phones don't know why that's a thing still but uh whatever <laughs> the st switch would have dedicated hardware to facilitate the 3ds backwards compatibility so it would just basically have a 3ds inside of it it would also support the 480p video on cameras so there would be cameras on it uh likely two of them one on the front one on the back uh it would possibly allow you to resume play from sleep mode by pressing a gesture i don't know what how you press a gesture gesture is I don't know, maybe it's something you draw on the screen. Uh, although this wasn't finalized, a sleep mode section doesn't have an okay on it. 
Uh, obviously, we know Switch ended up being a completely different system than what this was touted to be. This looks more like a potential 3DS successor um, continuing the Nintendo Portable line than what the Switch finalized Switch ended up being. Clearly, this was just an idea conceptualization stage, uh, but the fact that they decided on Switch back then because they could wirelessly broadcast it to your TV is interesting. So they always had TV functionality in mind, but it, the hardware they were using was not very powerful. SLCs from Ericsson at the time were very, very weak. The, these these are uh, it, it would be more powerful than the 3ds to be clear it would be more powerful than the 3ds but only 480p it we're not talking about a system here that was going to knock people's socks off we're not talking about a system that could get a breath of the wild port so i don't know if in 2015 they they changed the direction to nvidia uh because the wii u was bombing and they're like oh crap <laughs> we need to do something there we need something that can at least produce wii u-like power uh, in, in a portable form. I don't know uh, what made them decide that, you know what, we're going to go with NVIDIA. Maybe NVIDIA in approached Nintendo and said, hey, we have a bunch of these chips because no one's buying our stuff. We can give you a killer deal, and this is a lot more powerful than whatever you're considering using. So maybe we should be thankful we ended up with the Tegra, ended up with the Switch in the form factor it is, because as cool as this form factor with the hall screen and the two, the two sticks going through the screen, let's be honest, the Switch as it is today is just a better system. It's just better. I know losing 3DS backwards functionality sucks, but you know what? This is just a better overall system. The way it docks for the TV is way better. Having a direct line hardware dock versus a wireless is always better. It's just like talking about playing games locally over game streaming. Locally is typically better. Um, we're seeing cases with Cyberpunk 2077 where it's actually better through Google Stadia than any other method of play, but that's not atypical. That's just bad. Um, that's just, I don't know. There's some mismanagement at CD Projekt Red. We're not going to get into that too much here. Uh, it's interesting, too, because someone actually got uh, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, speaking of streaming, uh, got it working on Nintendo Switch through a streaming service, obviously a hack switch, but still pretty interesting. It actually runs okay. Uh, that being said, I honestly think these early design concepts are interesting i think it's it's nice to get a look behind the curtains to see what nintendo was considering doing every now and then nintendo officially lets us behind the curtains usually at an event like gdc where they have like private meetings and then some of that information gets out where they talk about you know concepts they had for systems that never came out or like original concepts for you know other things like you know we know at one point there was a gamecube uh and then a successor to gamecube that was actually more powerful uh going down the traditional console route but they changed course, obviously, and went with Wii. So we know that Nintendo wasn't always planning to go down the Wii route. Uh, so I, I think that it's interesting to get a look behind the scenes. Uh, I understand, you know, I don't want to support people hacking Nintendo or hacking any of these companies and their servers and, and leaking all this stuff out because we've had some some nasty stuff come out of these leaks that we didn't, we didn't need to see. Uh, not, you know, private email chains and stuff like that. Nothing that was, like, incriminating or makes, you know, oh, my gosh, Shigeru Miyamoto is, like, a creep or something. No, nothing like that. But it's still, I don't like, you know, if you hack into Nintendo, you know, contact Nintendo and report to them a vulnerability or something. Don't don't start leaking things to the public. Obviously, the main person behind it ended up, he's in jail now and uh, going to end up on probation at some point. But it, it, it's neither here nor there. Uh, just don't do this stuff. But. It's already out there, so I figured we'd talk about it. This isn't a new leak. This isn't. Uh, this is just new information from the leak. Anyways, I find these these original designs to be interesting. Uh, I, I like seeing behind the scenes, but uh, yeah, kind of a kind of a interesting to see that Nintendo Switch was never really supposed to be a, a true Switch. <laughs> All right. You know what, folks? I'm gonna let this one uh, let this one go. Let this percolate. You guys, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Ha, shout out to the N64, one of my favorite systems of all time. Not my favorite though. The SNES is at at, at the top of my list, but the Switch is creeping up there. It's creeping up there. By the, by the time Switch Gen is done, maybe it'll be my favorite Gen. We'll see. We'll see. All right, folks. Catch you guys in the next video.